Have you ever wondered what life was like for the Mesosaurus, a creature that roamed our planet over 270 million years ago? Let's embark on a journey back in time to explore this fascinating creature. The Mesosaurus, an ancient reptile whose name means middle lizard, thrived during the early Permian period. This was a time when the continents were still merged into one massive supercontinent known as Pangaea. The Mesosaurus was a unique character in the story of life on Earth, with features and behaviours that set it apart from other creatures of its era. Picture this, a small, elongated reptile, not much larger than a modern-day house cat. The Mesosaurus was about one to two metres in length, with a long, slender body that was perfectly adapted to its semi-aquatic lifestyle. Its body was covered in scales, its tail was flat and paddle-like, and it had a long, thin neck that ended in a small, pointed head. But the most distinctive feature of the Mesosaurus was its teeth. Its jaw was filled with sharp, interlocking teeth that were perfect for catching and holding on to its slippery prey. When you think of a Mesosaurus, envision a creature with the grace of a swan, the agility of a crocodile, and the predatory instincts of a shark. Living both in water and on land, the Mesosaurus was a true marvel of evolution. It was one of the first reptiles to venture back into the water after its ancestors had made the monumental shift to life on land. This adaptability made the Mesosaurus a versatile and successful creature in its environment. As we delve deeper into the world of the Mesosaurus, we'll explore its birth and early life, its hunting tactics, and the environment it called home. We'll also discuss its eventual extinction and the legacy it left behind. Imagine a creature that could live both in water and on land, a true testament to the wonders of evolution. The Mesosaurus, a creature of the past, continues to captivate us with its intriguing story, a tale of survival and adaptability in a world vastly different from our own. Life for a Mesosaurus began in the most extraordinary of ways. Like modern reptiles, Mesosaurus were oviparous, meaning they laid eggs. But these weren't your typical chicken eggs. Oh no, these were tough leathery spheres designed to withstand the harsh conditions of the ancient world. Upon hatching, these little Mesosaurus infants were immediately faced with a world full of challenges. But they were born ready, instinctively equipped with the tools needed for survival. Almost immediately, they adapted to an aquatic lifestyle, their bodies sleek and agile, perfect for navigating the waters of their home. Young Mesosaurus weren't just idle swimmers, though. They were strategists, learning quickly how to use their environment to their advantage. Whether it was hiding from predators in the thick vegetation or ambushing prey from the shadows, these young reptiles were quick learners. Even from a young age, these creatures were built for survival. The Mesosaurus was not just a survivor, but a formidable predator. Now it's time to dive into the aquatic world of this prehistoric beast and explore its predatory prowess. The Mesosaurus was a master of its domain, ruling the shallow seas with cunning and agility. Its hunting strategies were perfectly adapted to its environment. It was a stealthy predator, using its slender body and long tail to navigate the water with minimal disturbance, sneaking up on unsuspecting prey. But what made the Mesosaurus truly unique was its diet. Unlike many of its contemporaries, the Mesosaurus was not a carnivore in the traditional sense. Instead, it was a piscivore, feeding primarily on fish and other small marine creatures. This dietary preference was a testament to the Mesosaurus's adaptability, enabling it to thrive in an environment where larger, meatier prey was scarce. And then there were the teeth. Oh, those teeth! The Mesosaurus boasted a mouthful of sharp, cone-shaped teeth, perfectly suited for its piscivorous diet. These teeth were not designed for tearing flesh like those of a T-Rex or a Velociraptor. Instead, they were precision instruments, designed to puncture and hold onto slippery fish, ensuring that once caught, the prey had little chance of escape. In the prehistoric food chain, the Mesosaurus occupied a unique niche. It was not the largest predator, nor the most fearsome but it was a crucial link, keeping the population of smaller marine creatures in check and providing a food source for larger predators. The Mesosaurus was a testament to the ruthless yet fascinating nature of prehistoric life. 
It was a creature perfectly adapted to its environment, a predator shaped by the forces of evolution to survive and thrive in the harsh world of the late Paleozoic era. As we continue to explore the life and times of the Mesosaurus, let's remember this. In the world of prehistoric predators, size is not always an indicator of success. Sometimes it's the little guys, like our friend the Mesosaurus, that truly rule the roost. The Mesosaurus adapted to life in a world very different from ours. This fascinating creature, a relic from the Permian period, called an environment home that was as alien to us as the surface of Mars might be. The Mesosaurus was primarily an aquatic creature and its habitat reflects this. It thrived in warm, shallow seas and lagoons where it could easily access its primary food source, small aquatic invertebrates. Fossils suggest that these ancient reptiles were prevalent in what is now Southern Africa and South America, hinting at a past where these two continents were closely linked. The Mesosaurus was a creature of habit. It's likely that they followed a set migration pattern, moving between different feeding grounds throughout the year, much like modern whales do today. This constant movement would have allowed them to exploit the abundance of food that the changing seasons brought, ensuring their survival in the ever-changing Permian world. Adaptation was key to the Mesosaurus's survival. It evolved a long, slender body and a tail, perfect for propelling through the water, while its legs, though short, were strong and ended in webbed feet, ideal for steering and balancing. Its sharp teeth were perfect for snagging slippery prey, and its eyes, located on the top of its head, allowed it to keep a lookout for danger even while it was submerged. But let's not forget about the climate of the Permian period. It was a time of great transition, marked by a shift from the icy conditions of the late Carboniferous period to a much warmer, drier climate. This significant change in climate would have drastically affected the Mesosaurus's habitat, perhaps forcing them to adapt even further or move to new feeding grounds. The Mesosaurus was a creature perfectly adapted to its world, a world that was drastically changing. Their ability to survive and thrive in such a transitional period is a testament to their incredible adaptability and resilience, truly making them one of the most fascinating creatures of the ancient world. Like all creatures, the Mesosaurus too had an end. This was not just the end of a species, but the closing of an era that saw the rise and fall of some of the most fascinating prehistoric creatures. As we delve into the theories about the extinction of the Mesosaurus, it's important to remember that these are just that theories. Our understanding is continually evolving, much like the creatures we study. The leading theory, however, points towards a dramatic shift in climate as the primary cause of their demise. The Mesosaurus thrived in the brackish waters of the early Permian period. They were ideally suited to this environment, but as the Earth's climate began to change, so too did the habitats they called home. The waters became more saline, and the once abundant food sources began to dwindle. Despite their adaptability, the Mesosaurus, like many other species, found themselves in a world they were ill-equipped to survive in. This climate change was not an isolated event. It was part of a larger, more devastating occurrence that we now know as the Permian-Triassic extinction event. This event was so catastrophic that it's often referred to as the Great Dying. It wasn't a single moment, but a series of disasters that unfolded over millions of years. Volcanic activity, meteor impacts and rapid climate change all played a part in this earth-shattering event. The Mesosaurus, despite their hunting prowess and adaptability, were not immune to these changes. As the waters they lived in became increasingly inhospitable, their numbers began to dwindle. They faced competition for dwindling resources, and the struggle for survival became increasingly desperate. In the end, the Mesosaurus, like many of its contemporaries, could not overcome the challenges of this new world. They slowly faded into extinction, leaving behind only fossilized reminders of their once dominant presence. The Mesosaurus, like many of its contemporaries, fell victim to the greatest extinction event our planet has ever seen. Their story serves as a stark reminder of the power of nature and the fragility of life on Earth. Though extinct, the Mesosaurus continues to intrigue us. 
This ancient creature, hailing from the early Permian period, has left an indelible mark on our understanding of Earth's history. Its fossils, found in both Southern Africa and South America, have provided key evidence supporting the theory of continental drift. Imagine for a moment a world where continents were once joined together. The Mesosaurus, a freshwater reptile, couldn't have swum the vast Atlantic Ocean. Yet, its remains lay on both sides of the ocean, a silent testament to a time when these land masses were one. The Mesosaurus also holds significance within paleontology as one of the first marine reptiles. Its adaptations for aquatic life, such as webbed feet and a long, flexible body, offer insights into the evolution of marine reptiles. So the Mesosaurus may be gone, but it's certainly not forgotten, continuing to teach us about our planet's incredible history.